All right, audience, moment of truth. Ew, Look at this. It like no, it doesn't. Stop it saying that. It smells delicious and it looks delicious. And I'm just waiting for the biscuits to go in and then we're set. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, by now, I'm pretty sure some of y'all have seen the footage of the tanker hitting the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. We've seen that disaster. We've seen the wreckage. But have you seen this video yet? Now, nah? All right, so I got some new unseen footage that I'm going to share with y'all. It's a little speed up, so bear with me, all right? Let's take a look at the clip. All right, so we're going to watch this video here. And, okay, now I'm asking the questions. Could this have been prevented? Now, the video is being a little sped up here. As you can see over here, you see the power went out, right? You got a little smoke and black smoke. Then the power comes back on and it goes back out again. And you see this sharp turn here, this little sharpy sharp turn, right? And then boom, right there, right? You see right over here, you got a little smoke. I don't know. You know, again, I'm not trying to start no conspiracy. I'm not in a conspiracy theory. Um, but you know, we live in these times that the government is a little funny. Whatever they say, you got to take with a grain of salt. They all coming out. Media said this is not terrorism, and me, I am old enough and wise enough. Whatever they say, do the opposite. Okay, and look at this right here. Kaboom, and it all falls down, just like that. It just looks so. I can't think it's this. It's an accident. I'm sorry. I can't think this is an accident. The you see the little smoke here? The smoke right here? What is that? You know, was it a little, you know, was it a little 9-11 type thing with some detonation? You had six people that was working on the bridge at a time? I don't know. I don't know. So, that's that. I got a few questions. When Obama was leaving office, he had signed a trillion dollar infrastructure bill. Okay? And we was all happy. We we're going to get some roads fixed. We we're going to get the bridges fixed and all that good stuff, right? Even Trump, when he was leaving office, he too signed a trillion dollar infrastructure bill. Now, just recently, Mr. Biden here just signed another trillion dollar infrastructure bill. What the hell is going on here with this infrastructure bill? Why do I still have potholes here in Atlanta? What is this? What is this? What y'all do with my money? All right? Now, I say all that to say this. The boat, that one particular boat failed like six or seven safety measures. And there was this problem with the engine back then. Okay? Now, it passed. Somehow, somebody gave me the green light. And I can only blame one person, this DEI person, all right? The Secretary of Transportation, this guy here, Pete Buttigieg. I can't pronounce his name. Biden, help me out. Now it is my great honor to introduce the President of the United States, President Joe Biden. Thank you. Secretary Buttigieg. Yes, yes, that guy. Now, him. 
Now, ever since he's been Secretary of Transportation, we have derailments. We have train falling off the tracks. The last one was what, last uh, February with chemical spills. Yeah. We have planes falling out of the sky. We have Boeing doing shortcuts and, 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 and the plane doors opening in the middle of the flights. It's so bad that Boeing and the CEOs and a lot of executives, they had to resign. It looked so bad on them. And now we have a boat that shouldn't have been on the waters, but it passed. Somebody gave him the green light and this thing, this boat here did a sharp veering turn. Kind of looks suspicious to me. Kind of looks suspicious. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Look at how it turned. So sharp. Looks suspicious. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to say that. But Pete Buttigieg, days before this happened, let's take a listen to what he had to say. If an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or it would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, but that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. Um, I don't think we have anything to lose by confronting that simple reality, and I think we have everything to gain by acknowledging it and then dealing with it. We yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Bridges are now racist. What? I, I I didn't say it. You heard him yourself. Bridges are racist. And a couple of days later, and a couple of days later, Francis E. Scott, the guy who wrote the uh, uh, Star Spangled Banner, his namesake Bridge falls down. It's not a conspiracy, though. I'm not a conspiracy theory. Okay? I'm just... Speak it out loud. The f is going on. Anyway, that's the thought of the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> Go, girl. All right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you booty jigs, get off my lawn. <laughs>